Hey, it's Ariel with GeniusBioFeedback.com. Many of you have been asking about the new library function. So, many of you know how to create libraries, some of you may not. Let's start off by being at the system overview inside your Genius system. Let's go to the upper right, the three horizontal bars. This is called your navigation bar. And when you click on your navigation bar, you will see a menu. And if you have gotten through all three levels of our tutorial system, then you will see libraries. Click on libraries. At the top right of the screen, click on the plus sign. Name your library. So perhaps um, you would like to name it uh, to put in your supplements. So my vitamins. <clears throat> It'd be good to spell that correctly, right? My vitamins and supplements. Okay, at this point you can describe what they are down here in the description if you want to, if you need to further describe what they are. Then you would tap the save button and now it's time to add items to the library. So simply tap add items to the library and now this is where you will start typing in at the top left what that item is. Let's go ahead and we'll start typing in vitamin C and immediately you will see three options come up which explains how to use the genius the different types of testing that is available, how to use the Genius Libraries. So there are three different types. There is archetype encoding, the imprinting test plate, and frequency input. Archetype encoding means you're just typing in the words vitamin C. And I recommend that you be as specific as possible about what type of vitamin C. Is it pure encapsulations or vital nutrients or premier research. You could even put the number of capsules if you take a specific number of capsules every day. And then you would just tap on the button called archetype encoding. So I'm going to tap on that for my screen. And it's not listening to you per se. This is wave is just shows that the archetype encoding is in process. It's using the archetype encoding. All right, and so now it's added it successfully. Now let's try to add another library. And let's say that we knew what the, we actually had a testing remedy plate. If we had a testing remedy plate and we had the supplement vitamin D, we could imprint the actual digital frequency of vitamin D. And in order to do that, we would use, you can get a remedy plate at geniusbiofeedback.com. We have wonderful remedy broadcast plates and you would connect the plate to the device that you're using. If it was an iPad, it would connect through a 3.5 millimeter jack or a conversion, just an adapter to a lightning port. And then you would tap on the imprinting plate and it would draw in the digital frequency, the frequency of that particular supplement, whatever energy, energetics is on the imprinting plate. And I found that it's fine just to do the whole bottle on the plate. There's no problem with that. Or you could pull out an individual capsule if you wanted to. Now the third type of library creation, we're going to tap add items to the library and let's do vitamin E. Now if you had done some research and you had found out that the frequency known uh, for vitamin E, what it vibrates at is 456 hertz. You could just type in 456 and then all you would have to do, it's going to run that, that frequency for 10 seconds and you could adjust the amount of seconds here <clears throat> and you could put 5 seconds. Now at this point you could just save it, but what if you wanted to create more frequencies, perhaps you wanted to put in a frequency for digestion and assimilation because that would be part of the experience of being able to absorb the vitamin E. 
So let's put in duplicate and say that frequency was 584 hertz. Then you could put that in. Say you want to combine vitamin E is typically known for the heart. And say you wanted to put in a frequency that's known for normalizing heart function and say that was 384. And you could change all of these. They're going to loop at this time. You're, they're going to, every time you play this frequency, it's going to play 584 hertz for five seconds. And then another, all right, did I not change the other one? Um, I don't know what I started off with here. So 526 hertz for five seconds, 584 hertz for five seconds, 384 hertz for five seconds. And we can save that. And then every time we play that vitamin E frequency, it will do that series of Hertz frequencies. Then we can just update the whole thing and we can go back to the libraries. You want to make sure that you add that library to your client. So you're going to hit add to client and just for simplicity, we'll go select all, we'll make sure all of them are added, or you could find that individual library and just add that one library to your client. And then we could go back here and we could begin testing that particular library. So that's the deal on the update of how we now enter libraries. It's a lot faster and more efficient. For more information about the genius, go to geniusbiofeedback.com. This is Dr. Ariel Policano, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.